What's up guys, Eric here from Decasode TV, and today we're taking a look at the top 10 advanced S Pen features on the Galaxy Note 8. If you missed my top 10 practical features video, you can check that out by clicking the link at the end of this video. One more thing, I shot this video wide so you can smash that full screen button on your Galaxy Note 8 and not have to worry about cutting off any part of the video. First up, let's take a look at the Smart Select feature. Within Smart Select, there's an option called Auto Select that allows you to cut out images from their backgrounds just like Photoshop. This feature will do its best to figure out what you want to cut out, but if it doesn't get it quite right, you can adjust it by adding or removing from the cutout. This is great if you see a picture of yourself and think, you know what, this would look super cool if it was taken at a lake in the mountains instead of at a barn. Just cut yourself out, go to the lake image and tap Open in Photo Editor Pro, then paste yourself at the lake. Size it appropriately, maybe angle the shot to make it appear like you're looking at the lake, and voila, your picture just got a whole lot cooler. Alright, so maybe this wasn't the most practical example of how this feature can be used, but it did highlight the power of the feature. Let me know in the comments below what you use this feature for. If you're an engineer that uses AutoCAD frequently, you can get a mobile version of the app to do some quick edits or annotate drawings. For being a mobile app, there's actually a pretty impressive amount of features available, and having the fine point of the S Pen is invaluable for this type of application. Most people think of Screen Off Memo as a good tool for taking quick notes, and that's about it. But if you turn your phone sideways, you've got a great canvas for drawing out quick schematics for someone at work. As an electrical engineer, this is something I do almost every day, but this also applies to graphic designers, contractors, teachers, pretty much any profession can benefit from this. I mentioned extracting text from images using Bixby Vision in the last video, but you can also do this with Smart Select. The advantage here is that you can draw precisely around the text you want to extract without getting any bordering text you don't want. This makes it easier to extract this Samsung Pay promotion code and enter it into the Samsung Pay app so we can both get a $5 Visa gift card after your first purchase. Hurry though, this is the last code I have and it's only good for the first 40 people who use it. I've also put the code in the description if you want to copy it that way. Autodesk's Sketchbook is an incredible app for artists. This gives you an insane amount of drawing tools to work with, most of which I honestly don't even understand because I'm not an artist. But I'm positive that they cover at least 95% of real world tools you could use, as well as dozens of tools that can only be used in the digital world. Just to give you an idea of how powerful this really is, here are some drawings done with just the S Pen and Sketchbook. These really demonstrate that the S Pen is far more than just a regular stylus. There's no way you could create these types of drawings with your finger or capacitive stylus on any other device in a remotely reasonable amount of time. Oh, and one more fun fact. Most of these were drawn with the Galaxy Note 4, which has a tip that's twice as thick and has only half the pressure sensitivity compared to the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 8. The Adobe Reader app has a lot of built-in tools that make the S Pen extremely valuable for marking up schematics, documents, blueprints, presentations, and so much more. You can draw with different colors, add comments, sign documents, and when you're working with a group of people, it'll even keep track of who made the changes. Obviously, you don't need the S Pen to do these things, but the S Pen makes it a whole lot easier. Glance is a feature that allows you to take any page and shrink it down to an icon in the corner of your screen. You can then hover your S Pen over that icon to bring up a full-size app and interact with it again. Then, when you take your S Pen away from the screen, it'll minimize it back into the corner. This is great if you're an artist who wants to keep a reference picture handy, or if you're an engineer doing some math and you need to quickly reference a datasheet. Or maybe you work in finance and want quick access to a calculator while you're filling in some forms. Either way, this is a powerful feature for anyone who needs quick access to another app and doesn't want to lose screen real estate using multi-window. If you do a lot of math for your job, or if you're a student who's taking math classes, the MyScript Calculator app is an incredible app for quickly solving complex equations just by writing them out. You can even leave question marks for parts of the equation you're trying to solve for, and the calculator will just figure it out. Unfortunately, this app doesn't support integrals, and can only reliably solve for a single variable. Fortunately, those types of equations aren't often used until you get into engineering or advanced statistics type jobs. And in those cases, you're likely using desktop applications like MATLAB, or just writing your own code to solve the equations. Unless you just really love math, in which case, you're probably that person using the old pencil and paper anyway. Samsung just updated the Samsung Notes app right before I uploaded this video, and I couldn't post it without adding a couple more advanced features. 
With the new update, you can write down phone numbers, emails, and web addresses either using Screen Off Memo or the Samsung Notes app, then hover your S Pen over any of those items to get quick links to either call the number, send an email to the address you wrote, or navigate to the website you wrote down. This is extremely useful when someone tells you to check out a website or give them a call later, but you don't have the time to add them as a contact in your phone or navigate to the website and bookmark it. The Samsung Notes app also has the ability to convert your handwriting to digital text. So if you want to quickly write something down, but have terrible handwriting like I do, you can just convert it after the fact and have a nice, neat note. The best part with this is that you can still tap the phone numbers, email addresses, and web addresses to quickly navigate to their respective apps. The only difference is that you no longer need to use the S Pen to do that. Combining the newly added Samsung Notes features with Glance and Smart Select offer some great note-taking potential. If you're doing some online Christmas shopping and you see something that might make a great gift, you can put your browser into Glance mode, then use Smart Select to grab a screenshot of the item and share that to your Samsung Notes app. This will copy the image, convert any text it finds, and add both the image and the text to the note. From here, you can glance back over to the website, quickly copy the address, and add it to the note. Since this is a Christmas list, you can even lock the note with a password, your fingerprint, or your irises so none of your family can sneak into your note and see what you're getting them. This password is also unique to your regular unlock password, so even if they know your phone's unlock password, they still can't get into your locked notes. These are just a few quick examples of how powerful the S Pen can be. Let me know what powerful things you do with the S Pen in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see the rest of my upcoming content. And while you're at it, don't forget to smash that notification bell so you can be the first to know when a new video drops. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.